for second part of the tutorial I will open the original ICM CFD files Let's say I just put the all the boundaries in a one boundary. Let's say boundary one. So all surfaces will go into the that particular boundary. But uh, make sure to turn off the selection of the body points, points, and the curves. So just keep the selection of the surfaces turned on and then use this option to select all the objects which are visible or invisible click on here so now we have the only single boundary here that is contained in the boundary number one okay now you can check the pre-mesh Right click on the pre-mesh and convert to the unstructured mesh here. And uh, save with some other name, let's say ABC. Again, right click on the pre mesh and uh, recompute the mesh. Again, convert to the unstructured mesh here. Okay, go to the output mesh, solve with fluent, in the boundary conditions, you can see we have the only one boundary. Okay, export the mesh. Also, I will show you first that the inside the fluent, we have the only single file there. Set the working directory to the this location in the your hard drive. So I'm just completing the process of exporting the mesh for this case with a single boundary. Go to the file, read, mesh file, and wait for the ICM CFD to complete the process. Okay, it's done now, so you can proceed with the uh, mesh read. Here you can open the new project. Do not save the files here. Cancel. So you can see we have the only two boundaries. One is the outer boundaries or the boundary condition. Second is the interior of the or the fluid condition.
all right so now go and uh, read the mesh file okay there's no need to uh, use a fluent for this tutorial so just close the fluent window as the uh, we will be working inside the ICM CFD so just wait for the ICM CFD to load the this mesh file Okay, the file has been imported. Now we will not use any option that is a mesh to facets because uh, I am not interested in getting the part names or the geometry parts, but rather I am interested to define the boundary condition for each part and that can be done on the directly on the mesh. So there is no need to have the geometry file or to need to create a geometry from mesh file for defining the boundary conditions but if not if necessary for defining geometry for some other purpose so you can watch our part number one for same tutorial series so here we will define the parts on the directly on the on the mesh so right click on the parts and create a part with the name inlet click on any element on this boundary okay as you can see we have the different options here select all items attached to the current selection and second option is uh, select all item all items attached to the current selection up to the curve and the this one is the uh, select one attached layer so you can try this option it's not working so just undo yeah this is working so for confirm or confirmation of selection just press the middle mouse button this will confirm our selection you can hide this part then I have the symmetry condition And again, come from the selection. Then I have the top boundary. This is side boundary. This one is the ground. And the last one is the outlet. So these are outer boundaries. So now we have the internal boundary, which is the boundary of the ML body. So select any element here and say the name is ML okay this option is working for this case confirm selection by pressing the middle mouse button So we have defined all the boundary conditions. You can save project like uh, part two. And you can see we don't have any geometry here. Only a mesh file there and only mesh surfaces are there. Okay, now I will go to the selection of solver in the output output mesh setup 
in the boundary conditions for m1 body it's going to be the wall condition for ground it's again a wall so you can copy the boundary condition from m1 body to the ground for inlet it's the velocity inlet for outlet this is the pressure outlet for the side boundary conditions it's a symmetry and it's the symmetry for all other conditions for all other remaining boundaries accept and output the mesh this will ask you first the save project file so just save it Meanwhile, open the fluent. Okay, so file is exported. Now you can import that file into the Fluent. Here. Okay, so you can see we have all the boundary conditions again with us. You can change the colors by the ID. Thank you for watching this tutorial, see you next time.